So is this the future of laptops? I'm talking about the Galaxy Book 2, the latest from Samsung in the Galaxy Book line and something that's powered by a completely different processor and promises two very distinct things, always on, always connected, and really long battery life. Now the Galaxy Book 2 marks the next iteration of the always on, always connected PCs from Samsung, partnered with Microsoft and Qualcomm to give you something really different. Now I've used this for about three weeks, maybe three and a half weeks or so. And I have to say though, I am impressed with what it says it actually does. Yes, it's always on, it's always connected. The fact that when I open up my laptop, whether it's in from sleep mode or I power it on, it connects immediately to the LTE uh, uh, chipset and it connects right away. Gigabit LTE, absolutely fantastic. I love that about it because it means I have a connection everywhere. It means I don't really have to rely on Wi-Fi, which means also I have better security. If I go to Starbucks and I wanna to connect to Wi-Fi at Starbucks, I'm prone to attacks. That's just the way it is. I could be prone to attack and connected to my buddy's Wi-Fi. Uh, in this place, if they have a terrible password and you use password as the password. But since this is my own LTE connection, it's golden. That is really key and that's something we don't stress about because it's something we really haven't thought about. We've not had a laptop that's taking us to that point where we can go, yeah, I can just open it and use. Galaxy Book does that. Now you're saying, okay, Thunder, this is cool. There've been laptops in the past that don't do that. But what else is different and special here, right? So you've got an AMOLED display. It's 12 inches, looks absolutely lovely bezels though a little thick samsung you guys are masters of trimming that down i know i know shouldn't be talking about bezels but i can clearly see it here uh the keyboard case cover comes with it as well which is nice. so it's packaged in together with the pricing we'll get to the price in a second keyboard is a little bit on the flex side but it is it's fully functional it's a backlit keyboard which is nice and also you've got some really just good functionality on there with that touch screen as well in terms of ports you've got two usb type c ports two one to charge one for data transfer which is nice a headphone jack and you also have your lte uh, sim tray as well as your micro sd card expansion internally you're looking at a snapdragon 850 processor from qualcomm this is the first time the uh, snapdragon processor to me feels like it can handle pc computing on uh, on the windows uh, machine which is really nice that processor gives you of course give you lte the extended long battery life they stated now it's paired with four gigs of ram 128 gigabytes of storage i don't like it four gigs of ram is just not enough i think it needs more because when i started doing a lot of work on there uh having a lot of tabs open documents have video it started slowing down a bit i needed more ram so hopefully we have at least a SKU that has more ram in there and 128 gigabytes of storage uh, to me for Windows, 256 should be the starting point there. But that being said though, you have that all combined together. How is the battery life? So I've taken a bunch of trips the last month as you guys have seen in October. Um, I went down to Austin, Texas. I used it there for three days, didn't charge it, lasted me. I came back, then I also went to Boston, used it there, didn't charge it, and then finally opened it up a week later and I still have about 20% battery life left. That's how good the battery life on this thing is. Now, when you're using Windows 10S, which is what it, what it comes with, I don't know why, Microsoft, nobody likes it. It ran really well, and the battery life from that was over 20 hours, about say 21 and a half or so for me. When I switched over to Windows 10 Home, which is literally a click and boom, you're done, that lasted for about 19 hours. So to me, the battery life was really, really good. I love the fact that everywhere I took it, whether I was in, you know, a WeWork, at home, and like, you know, it just worked. It worked well. I opened it, I was able to use. And you've got the S Pen as well, which comes with it too, which is nice. That pen is lovely, it writes well, and it's a really nice package. But for me, the main problem here with this device, I stated one, which was kind of RAM. My biggest issue is pricing. It's $999. And that, even though that's really cool, there are other laptops that have more power and performance starting at this price. And yes, if connectivity is really more important to you, then this might be a device for you. But I really think Snapbooks should be priced cheaper. I think they should be priced lower than this because I think this affords you to give uh, simple, efficient, long life, uh, battery life lasting computing at a price point that makes sense. 
Granted, yes, this comes with a package of a keyboard and also the pen, and you've got a device that's well-designed, has two USB Type-C ports from Samsung. I think pricing is just a bit too high. Yeah, if you ask me, I would say 750 max for this. That's my own standpoint. But that being said, even though I shouldn't be mentioning that in that fashion, I still think it's a really solid device. And I like what it brings. And why that's why I started by saying, is this the laptop of the future? Because future laptops for me have to have Kikibit LCE connection, have to have more than 20 hour battery life. The fact that I can take this device, fly to the West Coast at least three times and still have around two hours of battery life left is fantastic. Or better still, I can fly to China and still have enough juice to basically find my way to my hotel. That's why I like it. And that's why I think this is where the future of computing on laptops begins. So if you have any questions or any comments, guys, let me know about the Galaxy Book 2. Do you think it's worth the price? Do you think this is the future of laptop computing? Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Oh, and just to mention, yeah, guys like um, Intel, AMD, I wanna see you incorporate this. I wanna see also more powerful um, Qualcomm chipsets. To me, that's where it makes a lot of sense. But anyway, thank you very much. Leave your comments down below and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.